What is going on here? There is so much going on. Oh my god. Okay, dude. Holy damn. Okay, just, just pause, please. Okay, stop. Stop. Just stop. How many gators? Can you just stop? Oh my... I didn't know you did that, my guy. I didn't know that was your game. Hold on. Dude, where you at? Hello? Well, you're finally grown. You like this. I'll pick all this up. Oh, I got some saffron. Beautiful. I need to grow some more. Because good lord. I realized how low I am on saffron. Give me... Wait, can I not pick this up? Are you not done? Oh, uh, carry on, I guess. I'll see you later. <laughs> all right. Welcome back to Entrouded, everybody. I just need to drop all this off somewhere in one of these chests. And we are going to figure out what we're doing today. Can I drop you over there? Okay, you can't fit all in there. That's, that's, that's a bit rude. I'm not going to lie to you. We're just going to drop that off there. I really need to sort, really need to sort this space out. Um, I've got plans, but I'm, I'm a busy boy. I've got a lot of things going on, and I've obviously got real life that I need to keep in check. So having time to just kind of build this thing out. Oh my god, I need, I need to find the time. But basically, what I would like to do is I'd like to expand this out, have more wings, have kind of like wings for the, for the different people. And I'd like to have sort of like a nice, cool, like, I don't know, tower kind of attached to it as well. That I'd probably shift all of this around and make this more of a, a common sort of central area and expand it out in all directions. But I don't have the time for that right now. So for now, we're going to figure out what we want to do next. Now, I know we've got plenty sort of going on. When it comes to the black mine, we still haven't really... I mean, we've, we've exposed a lot of the map, right? Like, visually speaking, right? Like, I've got a lot of the map exposed. But there is a lot of stuff we haven't really looked into. There's a lot of little places things could be hiding. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that. And I'm thinking what I might do is head out to the spire. And kind of glide back to the entrance. And kind of just maybe be a bit more systematic with moving around here. So, as always, this is going to be a little bit more of an adventure one. Now, one thing, hang on. I'm going to just quickly check what I need to finish off this armor set because I haven't finished it yet. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> but I haven't finished it off yet, so give me a second. I'm just going to see if we're close. Can I? No. Sometimes you can get through the windows, but it doesn't seem to want to let me do it. So, give me a second to check that, and uh, I'll catch up with you in a second. Oh, ho. Oh. This music every time is such a treat. All right. So I'm going to set a waypoint here. Just to make sure that we head back out this way. I'm going to try and be a little systematic. Because so we came in from this side. Because you can see, like, just how how much the elevation changes are through here. That It's hard exploring it. Um, just because you've got to kind of poke, kind of go up, down, everywhere. I nearly fell to my death. That's all fine. We survived. All right, yeah, grab more flax. That's fine. I need more saffron. Which, by the way, on the update on the rest of this outfit, I need saffron for yellow fabric, which would be great as long as I can actually harvest the saffron that I planted. So this is kind of our entry point, right? Eat this. Plenty of booker that we need to kind of contend with, but that's okay. Let's just... Hello. How you doing? Are we chill? I thought we would chill for a second. That was a lie. And you can stay over there. I'm going to just quickly poke around here. Basically, I just need saffron. Once I have saffron, I'm, I'm good. I can finish this off. Shivs? Sure. I'll take those. I'm going to just end up, you know, dismantling them. But hey, I'll take it. Just look at, look at this. Look how hard this is to just kind of navigate. What is this place? I had a proper look down here. I don't think I have. Look at this. Builds up into like a tree up there. I don't think we've had a proper look down here. All right, let's have a look. Let's see what we can find. Because we still have all the hidden crafting recipes, which I still don't really understand what I'm looking for. There we go. Get out of my way. Yeah, give me the fur. Always good to have that. Where are all these friends? Oh, hey. Oh, God. The accuracy. All right, dude. I get it. You're you're not to be played with. It's all good. Get out of here. 
All right. Dear Lord, give me the, give me that, give me some resin. Is that a, is that a wasp? I think it is. Yep, yeah, resin, water, give me all that. I do need to build up my water because I've been growing stuff. My water's a little low. I have so many things I would like to build and do. I just, it's just time. It's just, it is just time. What is down here? Hello? What is this? Okay, this is different. Does this just take me outside? Oh yeah, it just takes me outside. Nope. Get out of here. Dude, what is going on? What is going on here? There is so much going on. Oh my god. Okay, dude. Holy damn. Okay, just, just pause, please. Holy shit. Okay, stop. Stop. Just stop. How many gators? Get over here, dude. Come on, try it. Give me ice. You, you don't like ice, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you don't like ice. Dude, they just keep disappearing. Can you just stop? Oh my... I didn't know you did that, my guy. I didn't know that was your game. Hold on. Dude, where you at? Hello? Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Hey. Okay, hang on. Wait, you're coming. Dude, dude, come on. Can you? Can we not? I got enough to deal with. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, God damn it. No, I'm just getting pummeled. It's fine. You know what? These things have... Is that it? Okay, that's boars. That's fine. Nope, that's another one. Yeah, give me that. Okay, why did I put myself down here in this hell hole? There's so many... Okay. There's so many. Get me up. I can't get up. Okay. Holy... Oh, God. And Booker. Okay, this is just chaos. Bear with me while I get sort this out. I want to look around. But right now, everywhere I go, something wants to end my life. All right, can you... Do you not know how to operate stairs? Oh, little thing doesn't know how to operate the stairs. Oh, that's so sad. Get over here. Give me this. Give me the fire. Get out of here. Okay. You now also need- Oh my god! Mm hmm Okay, fire. Let's get rid of you. Okay, listen. Where you at? Where you at, dude? Hmm? I see you. Oh yeah, you wanna- you wanna pop up over there? Okay. Luckily, I have- Bro, you- I need to- That's- I don't like this. You need to stop doing that. Get over here! Dude, we are- I'm just tangoing. We're tangoing, and I just- Okay, dude, listen. Enough of that shit. Alright, go down. Okay, can I, can I relax for a second? Is that is that possible? I want to look around and not be fighting for my life at every damn turn. Okay. So, going down into that area just put me out in, in a world of hurt. This is still back up where we were. I think this is where... Yeah, we fought the Vooker on this side, so we haven't climbed up here. Let's just go have a look. Okay, I can't quite make that. Okay, so there's more up there. Let's just keep climbing. This looks like it was originally part of the structure. So maybe there's some stuff to see. This place feels familiar. Actually, it is. We have been here, but I haven't been down in that other area. Yeah, I remember this. I remember this. Yeah, I remember literally repairing my weapons here and going through there. Okay. Well, we can leave that alone. I'm going to go back down here and just see if there's anything... Because I haven't been in this particular section. We missed this section last time. So here's a little a little campfire. Stuff in a corner. You know what? I'll take that. Read. What's this? Following the call. I didn't think I'd ever recall my childhood fondly, but now after so many years of adventure amidst the rotten decay, I gotta say I miss it. Sure, the days were simple and dull, tilling the fields or pretending to, chatting at the market square when I was meant to sell produce, carving my flute instead of sowing seeds, sneaking out of the farmhouse to dance the night away at the tavern. But now, decades later, I'm here, following a bright light in the night sky that ripped through the shroud's haze so long ago. Only a few survivors are left, but none I've met have seen have seen the same light in the sky. Hopefully they don't take my vision as just another one of Val's valiant tales to tell by the campfire. Valerie. And I think that is cool that we are getting a little bit more of a an inkling as to 
more about just how the survivors, the Flameborn, were kind of called and how the Ancients sort of did that. So there's some sort of ritual and it sent you a message in the sky. Now we did get a, a new location from this. Uh, which I'm curious to know where that came from. Oh, Valerie's Journey. There we go, right there. That is Waypoint. Okay, we've got something to follow, so that's cool. I like that. But now I'm just trying to understand why why there was a fancy door that led to this shit, basically. Okay, you can stay there. That's a pathway. This would have led us through here. So maybe, maybe I, I go the opposite way, you know? Maybe I, I follow this up this way and then try and see if there can i see something that'd be real handy try and see if there's like some sort of pathway or something that makes sense if this was something it has since sunk into the bog which again is just leading us into that idea that this place was just too difficult to to kind of um settle in you know okay what's this so is this another doorway yeah, so this is another doorway that leads out this way. So this would have been an entrance to something. And you just see again, it just... Everything gets reclaimed by the bog. Yeah, I came up these steps. I just don't think I properly investigated that. I know something's behind me. We're leaving. Leave me alone. We're just... We're just... Wow. The amount of things. Checkpoint. Woohoo! Anything still running after me? I think we made it. Yeah, I came up this way and went up those steps. Because I think I came from up there. You see what I mean? I keep finding things and I don't think they're, they're things I've found before. But then they are things I've found before. And then I, I, I find things that I are on the path of things I found before. But I just skipped over because there's ju it's just so... Get, get out. Leave me alone. It is just so dense. It is so easy to get just turned around and lost. Um, it is, however, getting to nighttime. So, again, when you watch a lot of my other ones, because we've kind of uncovered so much of the map at this point, I think just for their efficiency and making sure I can get around to investigating things as quickly as possible, I am starting to leverage the fast travel a little bit more. Um, but typically speaking, um, I don't like using it too much. But just so you know why I'm doing it, it's because I want to really investigate a lot of different places. Um, and kind of vary things a little bit. So I will be leveraging that a little bit. Anyway, it's getting to nighttime. So that with that said, I'm going to head back home, um, get some sleep. And then we're going to come out here and keep following Valerie. D you! Yo, why? Man, no. Okay, just, just quickly, get home, get home. Fast travel. Go, 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 go. Okay, we made it. <laughs> Anywho... What I was trying to say. Moths Grove? What the hell's Moths Grove? Yo, what was that? Anyway, look, what I was trying to say is that I'm going to get some sleep. All right, and we are going to follow Valerie's journey. That's the, the next thing we're going to do. And then, depending on how I'm feeling, I might head out to... Oh, either the Pike, so we can finish the story of the Lover's Quarrel. I still want to... I want to find them. I want to figure that out. I'm so curious to know how it started and how it ended. Um, but also looking a little bit more at the map. There's this whole section down here. A sun temple we haven't done. Um, there's a few things back out in the desert that we haven't really had a look at. So I might want to go do that. Either way, we'll figure something out a little bit more concrete in the morning. Whatever I decide, I will get you up to speed with where we're going. But the first thing is we are absolutely going back to the Blackmire. And we're continuing Valerie's story. So, I'll see you in the morning. Alright. We are back bright and early. Sun's just coming up over the horizon. And doesn't it look gorgeous? I love this game. I really, really do. And I hope you're enjoying it too. We don't have as much main stuff to follow. So, we are kind of just charting our own path. Doing exploration. Um... You know, there'll probably be a time where maybe we'll take a, we'll take a little bit of a break just to let it breathe a little bit, you know? But for now, we're going to keep it going. All right. Valerie's Journey somewhere down here. The Sunken Ancient City. Okay. So back over here. Oh! I died. Nope. I'm alive. It's all good. Read. 
It's foreboding and dishonest. So when the birds that guided my steps suddenly stopped singing and when the wind rustling the leaves swelled into a quiet crescendo, I paused. Then when I caught a glint of light from above, a reflection dancing on the tip of a spear in the treetops, I knew I was trapped. Vuka's spears rained down on me like blighted fire on Pike Smead's reach the day it fell. But I've seen enough of this world to know when to duck and dash. Keep your head down when the axe is swinging. I learnt that at the Court of Kings. So I ran towards the setting sun, letting the rays blind my attackers. I've escaped and the Vuka won't follow me here. I wonder why. Maybe it is because I'm close to that wondrous light that ripped through the sky all that time ago. If the stars align, I'll finally finish this chapter of my journey. Valorant. I think that would be the last one. Right, because if we're here at the Sunken City, she would have then just headed straight into... Uh, well, the... what is it? The kiln? Whatever the hell it's called. I forget. I'm trying to just think about where we can go. So there's the hermit camp. There was some stuff around here, but that was more to lead into what I think is eventually going to be instance dungeons. Do you know what I mean? It's so hard. I mean, we haven't really gone over here, right? So let's let's set a waypoint over there and let's just see if we can find something. Is that a giant what? Oh, God. Cool. Uh, some wasps need to leave. They need to not be a thing. Screw this shit. This your home? Guess what's going away? Guess what's going away? No more of you. Oh, God. There's more of these things. I hate these things. Go away. Leave me, leave me alone. Just, just let me go. Get down here. Face me! Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I'm, a mu I'm, I'm taking this. I'm taking your home. Your home is going away. Is this a mushroom? Oh, I thought this was a... It looked like a wasp nest, you know? God damn, I cannot express enough how much I just hate wasps. I really, really cannot. Like, and especially, like, it doesn't matter what you do. There's so many things online that you read about. This is how you deter wasps from building nests. It doesn't matter. They will somehow find a way. And I have to mow the lawn, right? So guess who's out there dodging, dipping, diving, and running away inside every time because wasps decide, like, oh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna be here. I'm just gonna be here. You get too close to me, we are gonna have a problem. Do you know what I feel like I need? Or want? I shouldn't say I need it. I don't need it. I just want it because I think it's cool. You know when you're playing games... Right? Like, I, I have a massive soft spot for, like, JRPGs, right? Massive soft spot. Love them. And on my personal time, I finished up Tales of Arise, which I thought was so brilliant. I love the Tales of series. I thought it was so brilliant. The story was good up to a point, and then it kind of got a bit eh, but the characters were so cool. Um, anyway, that's a bit of a tangent. But you know how you have, like, ultimate attacks? I feel like I just need some of them. You know, just a big screw you... And just like everything around me is dead. I just feel like I would I would love that. Can we get over there? Like, do you reckon I can go over there? Or is that the world boundary? I wanna find out. Hang on. I need a I need a I need a good spot to try and make my way over. I need to get up high. Alright. New objective. I think this is high enough. Alright, let's see if we can do it. No, nope. world boundary. World boundary. Okay, sorry. My bad. My bad, dude. My bad. That's my bad. Sorry. I, I was so excited for two seconds. <laughs> Alright. Do I want to go to the pike? Do I want to go down here? I think that's just more shroud. I think I want to explore out here. Let's do that. Let's just drop a waypoint in the dead center. Now, how's my easiest way across? I don't want to go down there. I think that's, that's bad news. Now, we've got to be a little bit more careful because this is back to being around our level. Oh, great. And yeah, you guys are here. You suck. Oh, saffron. I need that. Because apparently, I think my, my farm for saffron is bugged. Yeah, I see you. Don't worry. I hate these things so much. They're not difficult to deal with. They're just annoying. Get out of here. On a completely unrelated note, just while I make my way over here... Has anyone heard of a little game called Forsaken Realms Baron's Call, I think is what it's called. Let's see if I can get up here. It looks incredible. Okay, well, can I make it over here? 
Can we do that? Which, if you haven't, have a look at it. It's not out yet. You can wish list on Steam, which I absolutely have. I think we're on the side we want to be. Yeah, we are. But it doesn't have a release date yet. They're not comfortable giving a release window. But I gotta say, it's shaping up to look pretty, pretty cool. Um, and so when that does eventually come out, I 100% foresee that being something we'll do on the channel as well. I'm just glad to see more games like Enshrouded, things like that kind of being made. Because I kind of, look, I, I've given up on... <laughs> I've given up on things like uh, on Bethesda and things like that because honestly, like... I shouldn't be surprised. You know, realistically, like... You know, when I look at things like, you know, what people were hoping Starfield would be, and some people enjoy it, and that's that's fair play to them, and I, I don't... Just because I don't like something doesn't mean you can't enjoy it either. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're back in level 30 territory. But, for me, they haven't put out a game like Skyrim that's as good as that. And even that had problems, but still, in that vein, they haven't done that in ages. So who was I kidding, thinking that... Who am I kidding, basically? Thinking that they're going to put out another game like that. I hope they can, man. Like, I really do. But it's nice to see more games that are kind of calling back to that real freedom, good story, good mechanics, you know, interesting worlds to explore. Dude, why why we got to do this, man? All right, I get it. I get it. You're mad. You're mad. You're mad. You're big mad. Dude, we could be at peace. Oh, good. Your cousin's coming. Okay, dude, listen, listen, honestly, can I just run away? I just want to leave. I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. Okay, we've got a big thing over here. What's this? A mine? A dungeon. Oh, it's a mine. That's good to know. Are you going to follow me? Okay, good. Leave me alone. Okay, we've got some roads, which means people were here. Alright, well, I guess we'll go this way and see where that goes. But yeah, I'm just glad to see, like, the double-A indie scene is really kind of picking that up. Cool. Cave. And, and really sort of running with that. I'm just, again, glad to see more of these types of games sort of coming out. Because I just miss that, you know? I've just, yeah, I've grown a little... Grown a little despondent with the triple-A sort of games. I'm not really excited about anything. Oh, look at that, Elder Hat. Hell yeah. We'll take that. that. Looks cool. You know, like I'm not really excited. Whenever, like, you know, I don't know, Ubisoft or anyone like that, even even Sony and Microsoft to an extent, whenever they sort of announce something, I'm kind of like, yeah, all right, we'll see, dude. So we're gonna follow this and keep it moving because I think, okay, that's gonna lead us up that way. I. I kind of want to get to this sun temple. Let's do that. I should have probably done that before I went through the cave passage, but hey. These things happen. So, yeah. Anyway, my long rant is basically just saying that, like, you know... Everything's monetized through the wazoo. It feels more like... With all these companies like, you know, Ubisoft and, and EA and... I don't know. Microsoft, Sony. A lot of these games are starting to feel a little bit like... I don't know, a game made by committee. Like a, a bunch of suits sitting at the top going, what's going to make us the most money? And that's how the game's created. It's not about we have this cool idea anymore. It's all about we think this is going to make us the most money. And yeah, basically that's what the game is based around. And the poor devs who probably are very passionate, you know. Like, yes, there's people that, what is that? That might be our sun temple. Yes, they're, they're, there's absolutely, like, it's not like the devs are just all innocent. I'm sure there's bad ones, but I just feel like the majority of devs are very passionate about the games and making games and doing that. And I think they're, you know, with how volatile the industry is and everything else, they're kind of just stuck where they are. And so they're kind of just, that's just how they have to make their games. And it's sad. It really is kind of sad seeing how... I want to say corporate video games has become, which look, every business needs to make money. And 
There's no way you can start a successful game studio and continue to exist without there being some level of corporate involved. But I think when it comes to the creative side, the creation of the games, I think that's just where it gets really sad. You know, like they just, they don't feel like they were made out of a passion to make a cool game. What we got going on? All right, back into the game though. We made it to our sun temple. There's a lot of things on that other side. I can hear that. Okay, so we got to look around for switches to get inside, basically. Okay, I'm a little confused. I don't see a button. I don't see a nothing. Unless I can go in. Oh, I can actually go in here. Oh, what the fuck is this? I think that's what we had to do. Okay. So I gotta go to all these little side ones. And work my way through. Got it. Okay, well this is very interesting. Hello! Who wants to kill me? I know it's someone. Hollow. Cool. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh man, if they introduce a level 30 hollow hall, I'm running away. Okay. So now. Uh huh. One. This is where a bow would be very handy, but you know, we just try. Oh, that's two. That's three. All right, we got it. Beautiful. This is interesting, though. I haven't really run into a sun temple this elaborate before. All right, last one. What's this? Oh, this is easy. Those traps on the outside, though, are going to activate now. Yep. Okay. And now the big one should be open. Hell yeah! This is so cool. Could have just cheesed it, but we're going to do this proper. Oh. Hello. The Noble Sword. That's looking spiffy. That's looking pretty spiffy. And what is this? Recharge increases health regeneration. Oh, you already know that's playing into my strengths. All right, well, let's have a look around. Oh, hello. What's this? Sand fills my throat, my lungs grow heavy with dust. The storm still rages outside, whipping drifts to dunes and dunes to dust devils. Oh, how I yearn to feel the cold again, the sapphire coast, windswept waves glistening in the sun, children sharing sun seared yucca in silk hammocks. Torturous memories too bright to hold close, my throat aches. Why did the ancients forsake us after all? I don't think they, I mean, they kind of did, you know? Like, they kind of were like, it's done, it's over. But uh, I think they had to, you know, do what they could to save everyone. Oh, oh, a sun temple block. Well, hell yeah. All right, we're going to head our way home. It's getting to night time and we'll figure out what to do in the morning. I'm going to sort out my backpack. You know where to go by now. So I will see you very soon. Good morning, everybody. 
as I serenade you here. You'll notice that we are out near the Pillars of Creation because this apparently was updated. So we are gonna go have a bit of a peek. I'm gonna go have a bit of a peek. I'm gonna set myself a little waypoint. I think this is where a cave entrance is. Just through here. Oh, I love this. We will get back to music sheets. I do want more. Um, but I need to decommission the blue goblet and I'm just, I'll, I'll do that eventually. All right, let's check out this new sword. Oh yeah, she feels nice. Dude, get out of here. Dude, get, get back. We are rocking the new sword, the dragon sword. What the hell is that? Dude, dude, chill, chill, chill. We have decommissioned the dragon sword. Very sad. I love it. Dragon sword. You know I love dragons, but it is what it is. So this is the inner sanctum of the Pillars of Creation. Now I'm trying to see, because we didn't really do this properly last time. I kind of created my own way through. I didn't really investigate a lot of the stuff that was around here, like that whole structure. I just did not do. I instead um, borrowed my way through that collapsed section over there. So I guess it's time for us to have a bit of a peek. It is so quiet in here, though. So, we're going to have a look. This was the obelisk that we came to last time. They said there's a lot more secrets and things, so... Okay, I'm guessing I have to go the way it is intended for me to go. So that would mean... Going over this side. I came here when I was very low level as well. That's going to be a shroud core through there. It was very low level when I initially came through here. So I kind of ran in and ran out as quickly as I could. I'm not seeing a massive difference. Unless they're referring to something different, you'll have to let me know. And another thing to let me know as well is like, if you got any tips to help me find some of the stuff in the Black Mire, I would greatly appreciate it because... Good lord, it is difficult to navigate. Okay, well, we kind of just tanked a lot of damage there. That's fine. Okay, so this building is completely new to us. We have not been here before. I never came in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I did. I saw this and I went back. Okay. Okay. Give me this. I'm guessing I can burrow my way through here. Give me a second. Get out of my way. Okay, we've got ourselves a bow. It's always a goddamn bow. Okay, so we, we could climb over there, or we can be a little smart and just do this. <laughs> what now? Oh my god. There's so much. Hang on, do I have bombs on me? I do not. Okay, well, pickaxe it is. Take me through here. Let me just see if there's anything going on in here. Survey says nothing in there. Okay, there's an upper section. There's all these doors. This one opens. Is this free? Night trousers. I'll take it. Love and finding more armor, especially now that I've got the transmog. I don't really care about the, the level anymore. I didn't mean to roll, but that's okay. Okay, go up here. What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know what to do. Okay. I guess we missed something. Hang on. Okay, so it needs two... I need to find two of these little switches, and they've got to be in here somewhere. The Mystic Gloves. Okay. I mean, these are cool, but not what I'm looking for. Aha! I see you. Way back at the start. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so now we've got this one open and something around that corner and something up this way. What is this? Oh, I think this leads us back to the obelisk. Okay, so that's the obelisk. Oh, I just want to know more about the Pillars of Creation, what they were. What they were used for. Why are they called the Pillars of Creation? That sounds important. So I'm guessing they just maybe added more things to, to kind of look at in there. Unless I'm missing something super duper obvious. 
This was cool, though. Well, we're going to leave it here for today because i got some things that I want to get done in terms of, like, obviously my outfit and then just kind of planning out a couple of things that we might do around the base and things like that. I don't have a ton of time, so but I still wanted to make sure I got some Enshrouded out to you all because I know um, everyone really enjoys just kind of the, the, the me kind of just mucking around and going and investigating things and stuff like that. I reckon next time we're going to focus in on collecting some more of the lore and again piecing some of the things together. We did that with the Hollow when we wrapped up the Hollow Halls. We were kind of having a look after that at some of the lore that we've kind of collected in here. So I reckon I'll make some of that a little bit of a focus because again, it's what I said before in that last one. It's like, you know, when they, as they add more stuff in, there's going to be more lore to try and put together. So the better understanding we have of all of this sort of stuff, the better. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of continuing out to have a look around some of these areas. We've got some blank spots on the map. Um, and just trying to discover some things that I've more than likely missed. So, you know the drill by now. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Let me just close this up. Let's go. Let's have a look at something nice while we do this. I normally go onto my rock out at the end, but I figured, you know, why don't we still on the roof? So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and a comment as well if you're feeling extra generous. Let me know again if you have any tips for finding things in the Black Mire because my god, I can never seem to find anything when I go there. Um, and of course, subscribe if you're new, but that is going to be all for today. 